non-believers. I am your humble host, fellow monkey, chronicler of legend. And it is a fact that not all legends are tales of triumphant heroism. Witness then the legend of how the Avengers were disassembled. Released in the year of 2016, Civil War is the third Captain America titled film, yet this legend is far more than a solo outing for the good Captain. The Accords of Sokovia loom large over the rise of the superhero, while Captain America seeks his erstwhile friend, the Winter Soldier. Notable appearances in this legend include the aforementioned Ant-Man and a neophyte Spider-Man. And with these words we begin a terrible journey with our fifth marvellous legend, the legend of Captain America and the Civil War. And this legend begins with the ending of Howard Stark. And yet, our story begins with the capture of Brock Rumlow, formerly of S.H.I.E.L.D. Rumlow, however, had prepared for capture, and detonates an explosive suicide vest. And while the resulting blast is contained at the ground level, its energies are redirected, accidentally of course, I must declare, toward the offices of a charitable project causing a great loss of life. In the wake of this, legislation is drafted. For you see, dear viewer, we may thrill at the adventures of enhanced individuals in brightly coloured clothing. However, it is most often the case that these individuals are largely ungoverned and do the bidding only of their own consciences, which we forget at our peril. Thus, following the latest collateral tragedy, the Accords of Sokovia are presented, wherein enhanced individuals are licensed only to act when it is deemed necessary by the United Nations organization themselves. There is, I am informed, a space to record your opinions upon this subject in proximity to this window. I am also informed that personal attacks will not be allowed. What significance, then, a relic of Hydra? What significance, indeed, for this relic of Hydra contains the code words that are needed to activate the conditioning within the Winter Soldier. And off to Vienna, that the Accords of Sokovia become international law. Fate, however, has other plans as does Captain Rogers, concerning the apprehension of his erstwhile friend. Apprehension deemed necessary by the combination of a cunning disguise and the general low quality of the average security camera, as I understand such things. Who then would fool the world so? Ah, all shall be revealed in the fullness of time. Matters are forced, however, with the appearance of a new factor. The mantle of the Black Panther is passed from father to son, warrior to warrior, and since the deceased King T'Chaka of Wakanda last bore this title, it falls to his son T'Challa to become the Black Panther and avenge the fallen king. Sanity prevails, however and all of our players are taken into custody. The psychological evaluation of Sergeant Barnes, however, shall take a darker turn. The supposed interrogator of Sergeant Barnes is the same fellow that intercepted the activation codes for the Winter Soldier. It is here that we learn of a grave threat, being that of a death squad given the training and conditioning of the Winter Soldier himself. A terrifying prospect, certainly. Yet, is it the true intention of our antagonist, I wonder? Alas, without the identity of our antagonist, we cannot know. Do not despair, dear viewer. 
The moment of revelation draws ever closer. Thus do we detour to the city of New York to make the acquaintance of a certain Mr. Parker. And battle is joined. Captain America must reach the Siberian compound, wherein the Winter Soldier Squadron is located. The Iron Man is under orders to apprehend Captain Rogers and Sergeant Barnes. I trust, then, that you can see the conflict that arises. Some escape. Some do not. All survive, for varying definitions of survival. And at last, we are introduced to our true villain, Helmut Zemo. That ascended the rank of colonel in the Sokovian military, and lost his family when Sokovia was destroyed. The destruction of Sokovia is a lost tale to which we may yet return. Suffice it to say, however, that the Avengers were involved. Civility remains, however, and the Iron Man seeks redress. And a chance of reconciliation lingers. Until the revelation of a very inconvenient truth. For you see, dear viewer, it was the Winter Soldier that did end the life of Howard Stark. Thus then was the true intention of Helmut Zemo, the internal destruction of the Avengers, and the salting of the Earth thereafter. And yet, Helmut Zemo is incarcerated for his crimes. Colonel Rhodes has the greatest technologist of our age to assist him. Sergeant Barnes shall be liberated of his conditioning and the Avengers shall return. I present you then the moral of this story, and it is simply that revenge, regardless of the form that it takes, is all-consuming and oftentimes ultimately fruitless. Thus then is the legend of Captain America and the Civil War. And, despite the disassembly of the Avengers, I deem this legend worthy of remembrance. This is another heavy political thriller, but with the idea of superhero oversight mixed in, and a much smaller amount of humour sprinkled on top. Do these heroes operate in a vacuum? Should they? Would an oversight committee have agendas? All thorny questions, and none of them answered here, because the real story is a personal one. The story of Bucky Barnes, who was captured by Hydra and turned into a killing machine. The story of Tony Stark, who is confronted with all of his mistakes and quick fix absolution. The story of Steve Rogers, who believes in the American dream of freedom at any cost, but also that his friend is still inside the Winter Soldier. And while I usually talk about the performances, most of the main cast, outside of the moments of highest drama, are very much the same mix of wise cracking and high action, the standout performance for me though is Daniel Brühl as the Sokovian Helmut Zemo, who lost everything when Ultron battled the Avengers, and chose his country to be sacrificed for a potential machine empire. Brühl is every inch the calculating mastermind, detached, emotionless, never betraying the immense pain of loss that he carries with him. On a lighter note, it was nice to see Tom Holland's Spider-Man in the mix. A humble introduction for arguably one of Marvel's heavy hitters, Although with so many characters, a few do get lost in the scrum, and unfortunately for Chadwick Boseman's Black Panther, T'Challa is one of them. Still, there's a whole other movie for him to star in. The movie is very heavy on spectacle, even as the plot runs through it. It seems like every 10 minutes or so there's a fight to break up the monotony. Considering this, the final two-on-one beatdown is heartbreaking, because they're not fighting to save the world, they're not fighting to right a wrong, they're just fighting, which again, speaks to the quality of consecutive screenwriters, and the cast themselves, making us so invested in these characters as people, rather than just action figures on a CGI background. So in summary, I don't know what you might be looking for, and I don't know if you'll find it in this movie, but I do know that Captain America Civil War is an emotional, important movie. I remain your humble host. Fellow monkey, chronicler of legend, 
and I invite you to follow me to the nation of Wakanda seven days hence, as we attend the coronation of a new Black Panther. Until that time, I wish you all safety, warmth, and a very good day. Excelsior! Hail, followers of adventure! To those that enjoyed this legend, I recommend you the subscription button and its amazing associate, the notification bell icon. Seek also the path to my financial salvation in the modern miracle that is crowdfunding. Further to this, dare you brave the cave of discord? Test your metal with the link that is located in the sacred texts beneath me. Take not my words as obligation, however, merely suggestion. Good day!